Good morning. If you have the Bible, look at the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. Therefore, holy brothers who share in the heavenly calling, fix your thought on Jesus, the apostle and high priest whom we confess. The book of Hebrew says, fix your what? Fix your thought. thought. <laughs> fix your thought on Jesus. Even Satan attacked our thought. Before you come to the sins, Satan attacked your thought, which means you can use your thought and then come to the sins. Therefore, fix your thought on Jesus. Fix your thought on Jesus. Yeah? You know, if you fix your thought on Jesus all the time, yeah, you know that you no longer live, but Christ lives in you. Continuously, you have to fix your thought on Jesus. If you lose the focus, if you lose the thought on Jesus, yeah, what will happen? Easily to to you know, ruin, easily to led by the world, led by the Satan. Therefore, fix your thought on Jesus. When you fix your thought on Jesus, especially you meditate word of God day and night. You can hear the voice of God. Can you look at the Hebrew chapter uh, 3, verse 7 and 8? Hebrew chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. So, as the Holy Spirit says, which means God says, Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your heart as you did in the rebellion during the time of testing in the desert. You know, when God brought the people of Israel and they were in desert, they complained, grumbling, quarreled against the Almighty God. The Bible says, if you hear His voice, do not harden your heart, which means fix your thought on Jesus, and then you can hear the voice of God. You know, if the voice of God come upon you, there is a deliverance come, healing come, amazing, you know, amazing transformation come. I saw the from last week, Brother Bio, the word of God come upon, uh, come upon him actually. I I, I knew. How do you feel? You feel it, eh? Yeah. The word of God come upon this brother. If the word of God come upon you, you will be okay. Why? Because of God made heaven and earth by His word. By his word. When God said, let that be light, there was light. The word of God comes on you. You will be okay. You will be delivered. You will be transformed. You too, brother. The word of God. Not the word of your thinking. There is a fix your thought on Jesus. Fix your thought on Jesus, brother. If you fix your thought on Jesus, you will be delivered from all the strange game, heavy it was, and addiction, any things. The Word of God. Word of God is the, the voice of God. Yeah. Word of God is the will of God. The Word of God is the plan of God and thought of God. God say, my thought is higher than your thought. My way is higher than your ways. Why? Because I'm in, I'm in heaven. You're on earth. It's very important today, now, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Open your heart. Listen to what God say to you. When you buy some elected things, you you <coughs> get it with a menu, information, information booklet. What is your information booklet for your life to live in this world? What is it? Bible. Bible. Thank you very much. Bible. This is the book. Yeah. If you look at the Bible, oh, I know how to live in this world now. 
Tell us that this is the information book for your souls, how to live in this world. Unfortunately, many people, they don't look at the manual, manual book. They do whatever they like. How do I know? I was. I was never interested in this book long time ago. I never knew how I live in this world. But this is an information booklet, the Bible, the Word of God. This is a living word. The Word of God is more sharper than double-edged sword. Yeah? Very sharp. Penetrate your heart, your thought, your mind, your marrow, your joint, your soul. Touch like this word. Then you look at the verse 15 again. Hebrews 3 verse 15. And it has just been said today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as you did in the rebellion. Brother, you you let to two, three times because you don't listen. You don't obey the regulation rule. Do you remember? Two, last week or two weeks ago, do you remember? You stay in the way. Where did you stay? I'll come to you. You come back here now. You know? If you hear his voice, do not harden heart. I saw that you are. You, two weeks ago, you harden heart. I said, no, I will leave. It's gone. I saw that. No more harden heart. If you hear his voice, do not harden heart. Do not harden your heart. I know some people are very hard and harsh, so stubborn, so arrogant. That kind of attitude. Don't do it. If you hear his voice, don't do it. How can you hear your voice? If you fix your thought on Jesus, you can hear his voice. And then you can listen to what God said to you. Look at the chapter 4, Hebrew chapter 4, verse 7. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 7. Therefore, God again said to a certain day, calling it today. When a long time later he spoke to David, as you will say before, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Can you imagine chapter 3, chapter 4? God said three times, please, if you hear your voice, I mean, if you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. Do not harden your heart. Yeah? Look at the, you know, uh, chapter 4, verse 15. So, Hebrew chapter 4, verse 16. Let us then approach the throne of grace with the confidence so that we may receive mercy, find grace to help us in our time of need. Yeah. Now is the time of the need. We need the grace and mercy. Therefore, enter his throne with the confidence. Yeah. Now approach the throne of what? Throne of grace. Yeah. We need the grace. We need the mercy. Oh God, have mercy on me. Oh God, I need your grace. Yeah, throne of grace. With the confidence, we can ask the Lord. We receive your mercy and your grace to help us in our time of need. We need you, Lord. Oh God, help us to fix our eyes on Jesus. And then fix. Look at the chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 2, verse chapter 3, verse 1, fix your thought, fix your thought on Jesus. And chapter 12, verse 1, saying, yeah, uh, chapter 12, verse 2, in the book of Hebrews, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfect of our faith, who, for the joy set before him, endured the, uh, the cross, the scorning with shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He has all shame and guilty and condemnation, all kind of you know, sin and sickness on the cross. Now he said, 
at the right hand of God. Uh, he is author and perfect of what? Our faith. Faith, faith comes from Jesus. He is the author of our faith. He is what? Perfect of our faith. So what you need to do? Fix our eyes on Jesus. You see? Chapter 3 verse 1. Fix your thoughts on Jesus. Chapter 12 verse 2 says, Fix your eyes on Jesus. Can you open your spiritual eyes? Open your spiritual eyes to fix your eyes on Jesus. How often? Constantly. How often? Every minute, every second, every days of your life. Fix your eyes on Jesus all the time. Good for you. Good for everybody. You become a man of influence, woman of influence, when you fix your thought on Jesus, fix your eyes on Jesus all the times. You know, we live in this world, we know that Jesus lives inside of us. We no longer live, but Christ lives in us. When Christ lives in us, our mind, our heart, all the time communicate with Jesus. In all the time, Jesus can control our life totally. This is what God wants. Can you look at the Colossians? Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Since then, we have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things of all, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Where is your heart now? Set your heart on things of all, where Jesus sits at the right hand of God. Yeah? Fix your thought on Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. And fix your heart. Yeah? Set your heart on things of all, where Christ sits uh, at the right hand of God. And set your mind again. Set your mind on things of all, not on earthly things. Yeah? If you set your mind on earthly things, you know, they will come anytime. Anytime you put uh, some strange idea. Yeah. Your mind, your heart. And verse 3, for you died and your life is new, hidden with Christ in God. You see, you died already. You no longer live, but Christ will listen to you. You died, and you are alive. Is a hidden um, with Christ, in, in, yeah, in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with Him in glory. Of course, in the last day, in glory. But actually, even in this life, that Jesus appears, yeah, to your life. When I see you, I can see Jesus. And therefore, fix your thought on Jesus. Fix your mind, your heart on things of all. Fix your eyes on Jesus. You know, devil is very, very clever how to how to uh, attack. Yeah? Devil is a, a deceiver. Yeah, always cheating. Satan, steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. You know, when, 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 uh, when uh, Judah, look at the John chapter 13, verse 2. When Judah opened his mind, Satan came into his mind. Look, John chapter 13, verse 2. The evening meals was being served, which is a last supper. And the devil had already prompted Judas uh, Iscoit, son of Sam, uh, Simon, to betray the Jesus. You see, Satan, yeah, prompted, which means his thought. Therefore, you have to close the door to Satan. 
cross is called Satan. You know, the Bible says, Satan is what? Thief, thief. Do you think the thief will knock the door? Thief, how, how thief come in? To the window. To the window. <laughs> you know very well. Yeah. <laughs> window was, you know, if thief come in, yeah, you have the power and authority in the name of Jesus. You kick him out, do you understand? When the thief come in, welcome, come. No, 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 you need to kick him out. Yeah. What's different between thief, which is Satan, and Jesus? Jesus what? Jesus uh, come through the window or what? No, comes through the door. He what? Knock the door. That is different. When Jesus knock the door, you need to open your door and welcome him. Mm -hmm. yeah? Welcome Jesus. Come, sit. Stay in my heart, in the center of my heart, as my master, as my Lord, and my Savior. But thief, they don't knock the door. They don't come. They come anytime. Do you know? Do you know that when Satan tempted Jesus, yeah, and Satan left for how long? A short season. What? A short season. The Bible says, until the another opportunity comes. Yeah. <laughs> if Satan left from Jesus until the another opportunity to come, how about you and me? Yeah. He can come anytime. Not not the door. Not gentleman. Satan is a thief. Satan is a father of all lies. Satan is a destroyer. When a destroyer breaks you, what you mean? You need to kick him out. Destroy. You remember last year, uh, were you there? The, the gangster that beat me? You, gangster, true gangster. And then, you know, Holy Spirit spoke to me, catch the, catch the gangster. I told the, you have another Korean young boy, teenager boy, you know, teenagers are the very dangerous. So. The teenager, they continue supporting for me, three of us, catch the, this one gangster. And they give to uh, the police. Do you understand that? We don't need to begging. You don't need to begging the uh, you know, the thief. Would you leave? No, no. He is kicking out. Go away. You have to destroy the plan of Satan. Son of God, Jesus came to this world for what? To destroy the plan of Satan. Therefore. Fix your thought on Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Set your heart on things above. Yeah? Set your mind on things above. If you do it, you will be okay. Can you, think, can you set your mind, set your heart on things above? Fix your thought on Jesus. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Another, another, another explain I already told you. If you hear his voice, open your spiritual ear to listen, obey, and you will be okay. You will prosper. You are more than conquered. And you will receive the grace and mercy. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We need you. Touch us and change us. Help us to fix our thought on Jesus and our, our mind, our heart uh, on Jesus. Fix our eyes on Jesus all the time. We will hear your voice and obey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.